All right, YouTube, uh, another video coming at you guys. Uh, today we're going to show you how to install a half inch coupling into a keg for a kegel, and we're going to solder it. Um, it's nice if you can have them welded if you got the money, uh, but this is a little bit cheaper way um, of doing it yourself. Uh, Bobby from New Jersey has a, a different fitting that he uses um, that allows you to solder them in as well. Um, but this is just your typical standard half inch 304 stainless coupling um, that we're going to use um, to put in today. So some of the stuff we're going to use is we have a, uh, a silver solder here. This, this stuff is a little bit big. What we found from doing these is it ends up being a, a hair more than what, what we'd like. So if you can find a smaller diameter than that, and you can see that diameter there. You know, the sizes. This is an eighth inch. So if you can find something a little bit smaller, that'd work. And then this is a special flux for solder, soldering uh, stainless stuff. Um, so that's that's what we're using. We're using a very bit. This one here, we'll uh, we'll run it all the way through, um, which is going to give us a seven eighths hole um, to dimple this out. And then uh, some different parts and pieces here. We got. Uh, uh, two 5 8 uh, washers, or three actually, of a couple different sizes. We'll have a, a parts list here. We got a 5 8 nut, big 5 8 bolt, and then uh, these two uh, fancy fittings here. Uh, this is a, uh, a half to one inch, a half to three quarter uh, butt connector, a, a weld on butt connector, um, and this is a, um, a weld on coupling. Big heavy duty. Uh, but we'll show you how that's uh, how that's gonna gonna go when we put that on. And then here uh, we just kind of scuffed it up, sanded it a little bit uh, where we're gonna put this in. You can see here we've done we've done one of these. Uh, this holds a thermal well or a thermal couple um, that goes in the keg. Uh, we're gonna put another one up here. This is gonna be our fill. Um, so you know here we go. We're gonna we're gonna hook up the very bit on. Uh, on the cordless drill, we're going to pop a hole and, uh, and rock and roll. So bear with us here. Now what, one of the things we've done is we've, we've gone ahead and I've, uh, I've hit this with sandpaper. You can see all the, like there's no lettering on it anymore. Sanded it really, really good. Uh, once we get the hole drilled uh, and dimpled, uh, we're going to sand that really well. We'll apply the flux and pull it through and we'll go through that as we, as we do that. Um, you just, Seven eight step. I'm gonna pop that on, and I'm gonna pop a hole. Now once you once you. That bits are nice, but um, you know they they produce a lot of heat. Uh, there's different ways that you can cool them down. I like to use a little bit of oil. Uh, this is just olive oil, as I don't want to put any kind of other cutting oil or anything on the keg. Um, and just yep, and then we just go through and help keep it cool while it cuts. Help keep it sharp as well. Have a second battery handy. You never know when it's going to die. <laughs> yep, hole's done. All right. So here's the here's the game plan. Here's how this here's how this works. You get one washer that goes on the on the on on the outside. Small one goes on the inside, and then you can see how that kind of fits in there, kind of nice. And it just kind of helps keep things aligned. 
and this keeps the bolt where it should be. And then what we're going to do on the other side, we're going to put this on the keg. This will go this way, and you can see as it's tapered, it's going to pull a dimple toward the outside of the keg. Um, we'll flop a washer on there again, and, and then the nut will go down. And then we're just going to crank the snot out of it until it pulls almost all the way through. Um, I've had a couple of these that we've done where we've uh, actually pulled the, the, uh, the butt connector all the way through. The hole ended up being a uh, little bit too, too big. Um, and we had to go back and um, just kind of tap the hole to uh, close off the hole. So on the outside, I'm using a, a 5 16 Again, this is going to vary depending on you know what size nut you have here. Um, but the outside is 5 16 We're going to use the, the ratchet. And then on the inside, you can use like a crescent wrench. We, we're using vice grips. It doesn't matter, but you're going to just have to hold both, both of those. And then you're just going to line this up. Try to get everything centered. Just, um, just a little bit to get past the threads. Um, we've done a lot of these so that the threads on our bolt we could actually use a new bolt because um, it's kind of kind of cooked um, so what we're going to do is just throw on another another coupling real quick uh, and add as a spacer so that we don't have to totally screw with the uh, with that the bad part on that bolt um, if you're working with a small pan there's a guy online, he, he does this with a, a, a little bit thinner piece of uh, metal, and, it, and it's a smaller pot. Um, very much just a one-person job. Um, th this, is, this is, you know, something big like this trying to reach around and hold both sides of things is, is tough. Um, so if you have two people, it works out a little bit better this way. I just don't, you just, you want to get full size but you don't want to go all the way through. <laughs> 